Today I'm talking about O3 from DJI and specifically the coax cable that goes between the ear unit and the camera. Now depending on your frame size will depend on what length of cable you're going to need to be able to use this. The standard length that DJI have supplied will suit most situations, however it isn't going to be ideal for all and in this video I'm just going to walk you through what the situation is, what the length of the original cable is and just walk you through some of the options that are available on the market today. Now just before I do this I want to say if you find this video interesting please do make sure you are a subscriber of the channel please do put any comments in the section below and I'll try and answer them as soon as I possibly can and if you'd like to support the channel there are links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. Anyway let's get on with it and let's take a look at what the cable actually is with the O3A unit as standard. Now one of the big things that always comes to light with digital FPV is the length of the cable from the VTX or ear unit to the camera module. Now O3 comes with its own cable fitted as standard but it is a limited length. Now stock the cable that comes with the O3 ear unit to the camera when stretched out is about 113 mil as you can see on the vernier. Now this cable is not the same cable that is used on the original DJI FPV system or the cable used on the walk snail system. It is a different cable and you're going to need to purchase one that is designed for use with O3. There are though some now available from varying manufacturers. Runcam is the first manufacturer to have cables available and whilst they don't sell cameras compatible with the O3A unit they do have these new coax cables. They come available in 100, 150 or 200 millimeter versions. Price wise the 100 is $13.99 the 150 is $13.99 as well, whereas the 200 is $16.99. If we scroll down, you can see down here that they show the length. The 100mm is a shorter cable than the original one fitted as standard. I would say the 150 is the same length as the standard cable that comes with the ear unit because you're measuring it with the ends and with that extra length on there as well and that would tie up with my own cable measuring 113 mil and then you have a 200 mil cable which again is a little bit longer but that is the longest that I've seen published at this time. Axis Flying also make compatible cables in the same range of lengths as Runcam, however their pricing is slightly different. They're charging a fixed $15.90 each, so whereas their shorter cables are Jira, the longer one is a little bit cheaper, with the longest being 200mm or 20cm again. Now the 200mm is the longest that I've seen available on the market today, but hopefully we may see some longer ones available in the future too. So as I've shown, 200mm is the longest that is available on the market today. Hopefully we may see some longer ones in the near future. They're not the cheapest things in the world coming in between $16 and $18, but at least you can get some extra length if you do need it. We are seeing more and more frames come on the market, and if you do use a larger frame, 6-7 inches, you're probably going to need to plan to move that ear unit up front rather than keeping it up back, and that is something that may help with a little bit of airflow too. So again, there are some ways to be had depending on what your frame setup is. Now that's it from me on this one. If you found the video interesting please do let me know in the comment section. If you have any questions please do put them in there and I will try and answer them as well. If you'd like to support the channel there are links to Patreon as well as buy me a coffee in the description. This channel does not work with DJI and is not supported by DJI and we always have to buy all of our products including the O3 ear unit and the DJI goggles too and if you'd like to support us to allow us to keep making content on this system please do consider checking them out. Anyway that's it from me. Stay safe and I will speak to you soon.